For the past few weeks, I've been working on my blog and I saw this really nice animation. When someone enters on the page, you can see how nicely the elements fade into the page. Let me quickly show you how to add it to your website as well. First, on iCodeDis, I created a very simple project. As you can see, we only have a box, but we can take this box and multiply it a few times. One, two, three, like that. And the only thing we need to do in the HTML is to add a class of animate to the boxes. Let me close this. By the way, don't mind these classes. This is Tailwind. It's not relevant to this animation. You can use whatever you want to style your elements. And of course, it doesn't have to be divs. You can use paragraphs and headings and whatever you want. The main idea is to have the class of animate to the elements you want to animate in your HTML. So let me add it to all of the elements here. And next, in the CSS, we're going to need to write this class and style it. It's going to be animate. And what we want initially is to have opacity zero and translate 0, 0 0.75 RAM. This way, the element is hidden initially and it's also translated down a little bit. And let's have a transition, 700 milliseconds and some random cubic Bezier timing function. Perfect. As you can see now, the elements are hidden on the page and the magic is now going to be in the class of show. And also let's make sure that this class can only be applied if the element also has the animate class. And here we're going to revert what we did in the animate class, the so opacity one and translate back to zero. Perfect. That's it for the CSS. And now in the JavaScript, we're going to loop over all the elements that have the class of animate. And then we're going to also apply the class of show. So we'll do const, animate elements is going to be document query selector all animate so we'll get all the elements with a class of animate and then we're going to loop over using the for each method and in the callback function we need the element and also the index very important because we're going to use it in a second and here we want to do element let's change this to element like that i'm going to say class list add show and this will basically add the show class on all the elements that also have the animate class and since we have the css applied as you can see the elements appeared on the page this is good but we don't want all the elements to show at once so we want to have some kind of a delay between them this is why we need the index so we're going to wrap this in a set timeout that's going to have a callback function and inside of this we're going to put the addition of the show class and we're going to use the index times 150 milliseconds to have a delay between the elements and look at that if you want a bigger delay you can increase this number 250 for example but i found that 150 is a pretty good number why do we need the index well because Initially, the index is zero. So we'll have here zero delay, right? The zero times 150 is zero. And then the next element has the index of one. So the delay will be one times 150, so 150. And next we'll have two, so this will be 300 and so on and so forth. And the nice thing about this is that if we come to the HTML and we have an H1 saying hello world, like this, and we go and add a class of animate. And of course we need text white because it's well, black. Look at that. It also shows on the page and we can multiply this a thousand times. Look at that. Pretty cool. I put links down where you can get the code and also see it live. And if you liked this video, check out this one where we're going to learn how to create a very cool border animation using CSS.